Well, they searched all over the world and they found it here in Hennesand, the Absolican Solar Concentrator. Listen to this story about building a new green highway between Sweden and US. The sooner the better. <laughs> <laughs> this is great science, the solar concentrator. And what's happening here is completely in the vision of what we tried to advance with President Obama's visit two weeks ago. And that is taking great innovation, wherever we can find it, and bringing it to American scale. And in so doing, bringing it, building American jobs and building joint prosperity. And Hazleton is the township um, in Pennsylvania that will be the American counterpart to this deal. And I've heard a little bit about the, the site in Hazleton where this project will be advanced and we are so excited about this. This is walking the walk after talking about the vision. I'm Joachim Byström and I'm the founder of Absolicon Solar Collector that has developed a unique solar concentrator that can produce both heat, electricity and steam. My name is Jay Gartland. I am the managing member of Ensources LLC, a United States company that has just entered into a technology agreement with Absolicon from Sweden. Why Sweden and why uh, this uh, technology? This technology because it's the best I've seen. I've been in the renewable energy business for about six years, both on the wind side and on the PV side, and I have never seen a product that can deliver the efficiency of this unit in the compact size of this unit for the price of this unit. And so I would go anywhere in the world to find a product that could do all of those things, and it was found here. So. What is the future, you think? I believe that this particular use of solar energy will provide many institutions in the United States who need to be grid safe. So that if there's a brownout or a blackout, hospitals, police departments, municipal administrative services will have an ability to stay alive and provide service to the population because these units will be on their buildings or they will be in an area close to where the general offices are in some form of a small solar farm park. It's anticipated that the, the schools in Hazleton, the municipal properties in Hazleton, two keystone zones, which are economic development zones, will all be using this power. It will become a model of what can be done efficiently, cost-effectively, and rapidly. This can be the first factory. You think there is a need for new factories in the States or Absolutely. all over the world? Absolutely. But I believe in distributed energy. I believe you should make power where it's used so that you get some of the grid issues away and the long line issues away. Because of the uniqueness of this item, yes, there should be factories located everywhere where there is going to be application of the technology in substantial numbers. Something in New York something in Pennsylvania, something in Illinois, something in Florida, so that it will be made locally, deployed locally, because the factory sizing that we have specifications for, the one that we'll, we will be doing in Pennsylvania will not be able to accommodate the immediate need for units. So I can see two or three factories going into the process of construction in the next 14, 18 months. It's an amazing uh, moment today to see Swedish technology in solar energy. Uh, to be connected with a large project um, with a large potential uh, in United States and doing so here today when we have the US ambassador here. What do you think about the future for Swedish clean tech? Uh, we're ahead of the absolutely best opportunity in our lifetime for new innovations, for new business models in renewable and hopefully this will lead and open for more opportunities not just on the business side but on 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 the research uh, test bed on the university science and and uh, the aim is to build a green highway between sweden and us solar concentrators are an important part of the solution to the world's energy problem and the key is to have a low cost production and low cost installation of this kind of solar concentrators and also to have the political decisions to change from fossil fuel 
to solar energy. With a low cost production and the political decisions, we can actually replace fossil fuel quite quickly in the world. And you will also work together with the local universities in Pennsylvania and Delaware. Yes, not only production, but also to transfer the research and the knowledge to local partners is necessary for the development. We have Swedish innovation, Swedish financing, going to the best site, Hazleton, which has the infrastructure opportunity that it, the for, for this facility and the jobs building potential. And you just heard 1,200 American jobs. I love this. Swedish innovation, building Pennsylvania jobs. It's something that I want to highlight using our social media from the U.S. Embassy website as well. So, so thank you.